Good evening all. You are welcome to Tutorials with Family Eternity, the school boy. Today we'll take a look at chemistry. And the topic for today is separation what? Techniques, separation techniques. In our last class, or a, a class before the last class, we discussed pure and impure substances. We also discussed elements, mixtures, can compound. And we said that mixtures are what? Impure, okay? Mixtures are impure substances. Why compound and elements are what? Pure. But mixtures are what? Impure. Now, because mixtures are impure, there is, if you can, you, you, you can actually separate the constituent of what? A mixture. But basically, when you compare mixtures with compounds, compounds, the component of compound come together in a bond, okay? That's a bonding, forming new substances. And we also said that the properties of a compound differs from the properties of each individual what component. We use water as an example. The component elements of water are hydrogen and what oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen they have properties that are, are different from that of what water. But it, this is not the same when it comes to what mixture. A mixture in a mixture there is no bond between the constituent what constituent what constituent what element or compound you, you can mix different elements hope you know to form a mixture we use alloy as an example alloy two metal two or, or three metals three of us we give example bronze brass brass right who we are uh, can you tell us what what are the what are the, the constituent of a, of brass what 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 metals what are what form brass Bronze, who knows? Bronze. Who knows? Bronze. Copper and who? Tin. Is it bronze or, or, or brass? Brass, ain't <laughs> All right, so now the point we are making is this that this constituent of a mixture, they retain their individual what? Properties. They retain their what? Individual what? Properties. No new substances from that formula in the new substance because they are not chemically what? Bonded. So, because of the difference in these properties and the, they are retaining these their properties, you can take advantage of the difference in their properties to do what? Separate them. Use an example now. If you have, if you have sand and water, Mix sand and water together. The sand will not dissolve. Three of us. Three of us. Now, the sand, properties of sand is still there. Properties of water is still there. You can easily separate the two of them by using a technique. Three of us. You can filter, right? Yes. You filter, sand will go in separate way. Water will go in separate way. But had it been there's a bond between sand and the water, they will form a compound. And the, once they form a compound, a compound is an entirely new substance. You cannot separate them using ordinary physical word method. Am I communicating? Yes. So that is exactly what the you, you take we take advantage of the difference in the properties of the constituents of a mixture to separate them. Because they retain their individual properties. So that's what take, will take us to what? Separation techniques. That will take us to what? Separation techniques. So separation techniques are those techniques that are used to do what? Separate constituent of a what? Mixture. Are we together? Yes. I said that Separation techniques are those methods we employ or we use to separate the what? Constituents of a what? Mixture. They are those methods 
or processes, as the as case may be, used to do what? Separate what? Constituent of a what? Of a mixture. Taking advantage of the differences in the properties of the. You are lost. Okay, okay, I said that separation techniques, they are methods, right? We, we, we employ or we use to do what? Separate the constituent of a what? Of a mixture. So these techniques take advantage of the differences in the what? Properties of the constituent of a what? Mission. This is made possible because these constituents retain their what? Individual what? Properties. That is the main reason why you can do that. Because they are not reacting together to form a what? A new substance. What is it? No matter. After the definition of separation techniques, what is it? Uh, okay, okay. I said that separation techniques are different methods. We used to do what? Separate concept of a what? Yes. Of, 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 of a mission, right? right? So what, what is that I say? Taking advantage of what? The difference in the what? The properties of the constituents of the mission. Oh. <laughs> You're not a fast writer as well. You learn it here by fire by force. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, detail for her again. Are you also lost? <laughs> Taking advantage of the what? The, the difference in the what? Properties of the constituent of the what? Miso. Then after that, you continue. That this is made what? Possible because of what? Because they do what? The, the constituent retain their what individual properties. It's made possible because the constitu the, this constituent retain their individual what properties. Are we together? Are we together? Or have we left? If if we have left you, let us know, so we can go back and pick you up from where we we'll do what left you. All right, all, right, all right, let's continue. Now, I want to list these, um, these um, what is it called? These techniques. I want to list these techniques. I want to list these techniques. All right. The one we are very, very familiar with, sieving. We are very familiar with what sieving. We use that one at home, two of us. Yes. Eh? Those that make a... <laughs> All right, let's continue. We have sieving. We have um, evaporation. We have sieving, we have evaporation. We have magnetic separation or magnetization. Call it magnetization. We have sieving, we have um, evaporation, we have magnetization, we have magnetization, we have sublimation, we have sublimation, we have sublimation, we have distillation. This distillation, we have distillation, we have there are two, two types. We have simple distillation, distillation and we have fractional distillation. I, may, I said we have, I promise, the first one is what? The first one is what? Sieving, followed by what? Then, the next one is what? So the next one is what? Distillation. Under distillation, I say we have two types. We have simple distillation and what? Fractional distillation. We have simple distillation and what? Fractional distillation. Then we also have crystallization. We have crystallization. Under crystallization, 
We also have the simple crystallization and fractional crystallization. Crystallization, crystal, crystallization. Should I spell? No. All right. Crystallization. We have under crystallization, we have simple crystallization. We also have what? Fractional crystallization. All right. The next one is decantation. 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 The next one is decantation. The tax, decantation is followed by what? Filtration. Decantation. Filtration. Filtration. Then after filtration, we also have centrifugation. 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 We have centrifugation. Uh, yes, C E C E N T R I F U, then G A T I O N. Centrifugation. Okay, how, how many have I mentioned? Nine. How many have I mentioned? Nine. Good. Then we also have. We have precipitation. Precipitate from precipitate. Precipitation. We have precipitation. And after precipitation, we have use of or uh, using what separating funnel. We can use separating funnel. Just write using what separating funnel. Even though it's not that, but it's it's still it's, it's still it's still a separation what. Techniques using separating funnel. The next one. The next one is chromatography. Chromatography. Yes, yes. Chromatography. 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 Okay, now the last one is flotation, 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 F-L-O-A-T-I-O-N, flotation. So we we'll take them one after the other, talking about what they are used to separate and uh, the reason why they use it to separate that. And they will talk about, to some extent, the application, okay? These are the key areas we will discuss. Now, let's start. The first one is what? Saving. The first one is what? Saving. All right. Saving, uh, you are familiar with saving, right? Yeah. And then if you go to, okay, they will say, those that do Gary, right? Who knows how to? Uh -huh. Let me see, Anne. If you know how to possess Gary. I don't know, but it's more. Let me see, Anne. If you know how to possess Gary, let me see, Anne. It's more like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, do that. Like this. So that thing that I'm that, doing that, like that, this is what? That's it. Hope you know, right? Yes. Good. Now, So, sieving actually, sieving is used to do what? Separate solids of different sizes, particle sizes. They are used to separate solids of different what? Particle size. You know, you may have a mixture. I hope you know that. Are you aware that, you know, whenever they mention mixture, people think that mixture is only solid and liquid. Sizes, particle sizes, yes, sizes. You know, whatever I mentioned, Misha, what comes to people's mind is that Misha is just about solid and liquid coming together. No. If you get different solids, sand and stone, let's say sand and stone, uh, 
what else? Of different sizes, mix them together. You can separate them using what? A sieve. Using what? A sieve. You know, sieve has different sizes. We call it mesh size. You, have you, who has seen a sieve before? There are different sizes of sieves. They have different, that pause, that pause is the mesh, okay? The mesh sizes. So, so if you want to separate, those ones that can pass through the, the pause will do what? We go. Two of us, those that cannot pass through it will remain where they are. The same way you process, you, you do your gare. After, after squeezing it, right? After squeezing the gare, the liquid content would have gone, right? You get, you get some, some, some that, that look like stone, right? Two of us. Two of us. <laughs> who, has, who has gone to press? Where, where they press, Gary? If you press it in the bag, how, how does it look? Is it soft or hard? Very hard. Is it soft or hard? Hard. hard. After pressing? Yes. That, that's why I say like stone. I, I, just, I just used to describe, not that it's stone. Okay? But it's hard now. If I can hit a hit on your head, you, you, you go to hospital. <laughs> Two of us. <laughs> it's not true. It's true, sir. Then after that, what next? Yeah. What next? Okay. <laughs> no, get it now. Uh -huh. yes. You open it and do what? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So as you see it now, it's from it's also granulating. It's also granulating, it forms granules. Those ones that come out forms what? They come out as what granules. Those, that, these are the ones you will now do what? Then the fiber, when, when you are done, the one that is more where you see that one more is maybe if you are doing a apple, fufu. After that, the fiber will do what? Come out, go. Then the the, the medicine will go go inside, okay? Now, but the point is that this, you separate solids of different what? Sizes. Sizes. That's the, main, the major, the key point in what? Sieving. The one that can pass through the pore will do what? So you, you may actually, you may actually get about, have a mixture, you may get a, a have a mixture of solids of different sizes. You may get up to four, five sieves of different sizes. Then you 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 sieve, sieve the first one. Those that can pass through that one will pass. You keep it. Two of us get, get, get another sieve that is bigger than that one, right? Continue what you are doing. Those that can pass will pass you. You keep that one. Then get a bigger um, sieve, or, sieve of, a, of a bigger pause or mesh size. Then you continue. Maybe by the time you, you are done with the four sieves, you, you see that you have different solids of different what? Sizes. Having to separate them. Have you separated them? Mm -hmm. You have separated them. So that's why we said that that sieving is used to do what? Separate solids of what? Different particle what? Size. So they are using the gare processing, mainly gare processing or gare processing, mainly. They also use in the mining, mining industry, for diamond and gold. They, they also use it in mining of diamond and gold. Example, diamond and gold. So they also use in, in, in mining industry. One, they also use in the what? Gary processing industry. So that's, that, that's all about sieving. Any question on saving? Mine, 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 yeah, mine of gold and the diamond, yeah. Any other, any question? Now, what, what is the next one we, 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 we applied? Evaporation. Evaporation. Now, basically, evaporation is used to separate soluble solid from a solution. Evaporation is used to separate soluble solid from a what? A solution. It's used to separate 
soluble solid from where? A solution. What normally happens there is that the, you know, what are the components of a solution? Who can tell us? Component of a solution. Uh -huh. Component of a solution. Uh -huh. Good. So, solution is equal to what? Solute plus what? Solvent. Solution is equal to what? Solute plus what? Solvent. I can clean this, this, this board, right? Solution is equal to what? So, solution in chemistry is not solving solving problem. Solution to a problem. It's a different, entirely one different thing. Solution is what? Solute plus what? Solvents. Let, let me, for example, now if you, if you have sodium chloride, sodium chloride, the salt you use at home, and you dissolve it in water, it will form a solution, okay? It will form a, so, a solution. Now, the sodium you dissolve is the solute. The solvent, the solvent is the water. You, you put the sodium inside. Why the solution is the entire thing you formed after dissolving is what? The solution. So get, a, get sugar or salt. That sugar is, is, is the solute. Hope you know. If you put if you dissolve inside that solution, is solute. The salt the salt is there, the solvent is there. They come together to form a what? Solution. That's why you say solution. Okay, when we discuss mixture, what type of mixture is that? A solution. Homogeneous mixture. A solution is a what? Homogeneous mixture. Because once you be dissolve, it will form, you won't, you won't even see anything again, it will be clear. If you see a solution of salt, you will know that something is the truth of us. Will you know until you drink it? One of, one, 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 one of my neighbors, when we are when we are still kids, used a solution, a sugar solution to cook rice. She didn't know that that is not water. It looks like what water because the sugar has already what dissolved and formed one face. That's, that's why it's a homogeneous mixture. It's a, it's a mixture, but it's homogeneous. One face, you will know, you know that there's something inside. But if you get sand or powder, you rub on your face and put in water, it will form a, a suspension. It's not a solution because it's a heterogeneous mixture. Because that suspension, if you keep it, it will settle down through of us and separate. It has two faces. It's not one face. So. It has different faces. It's a heterogeneous mixture. You pour oil in water. You pour oil in water. Oil will stay where you mean. Two of us, they will not miss, right? It's a heterogeneous mixture because a, it has two faces, the oil face and the water face. But if you get alcohol and mix it with water, you won't even know that there's something inside. Two of us, until you test it. So alcohol and water is also a solution. But it's a homogeneous mixture. It's a solution and a mixture together because there's alcohol there, there's water there, but you wouldn't even know. So it's a homogeneous mixture. I'm trying to, you know, help those that we are not here when we discuss this so that you, when you say, we say homogeneous, but I know that when you say homogeneous mixture, balance that I say homogeneous mixture, some people we are lost. It's just this simple thing I explain now. It's not a big deal. Is it a big deal? Is it a big deal? Is it a big deal? Simple. Now, the point there is that if you now get put that salt, that um, salt in the water, in water, the water is a solvent. The salt is a solute. Then what is formed is what the solution. Use evaporation. You cannot use filtration because if you get filter paper and pour that in, everything will pass through the water. The the, the pores of the filter paper. So you cannot fit, you cannot separate by water. Filtration. The only way you can separate is what? Evaporation. Provided that that salt, if the salt is a salt, is, is somehow can withstand the heat. Hope you know. 
because that's how you do it. If this is if if it is a a saw that is not cannot withstand it, it may become poor. Two of us, two of us. So, but so 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 could withstand what hits. Two of us, good. So now, if you now hit it, the solvent will do what go. The solvent will do what go. So we normally say that in evaporation, the solvent is sacrificed. We normally say that in in the what. Eva evaporation, the solvent is what? Sacrifice. Remember those that we are there here in our last re review or last two reviews on chem chemistry. We discussed something. Someone asked, uh, someone said that uh, um, there's one thing. I will give a, there, there was a question. The person was like saying condensation. Some of you have ever said con condensation. Some, some of the person said distillation. But it's actually what? So, so, some of the person said evaporation. But the question is, the answer is, is actually what? Distillation. I now say that distillation is a combination of what? We have, we have ev evaporation in the, the distillation. We also have condensation in what? Distillation. But I used it to explain evaporation a bit in that class. I said that in, a, in evaporation, your interest is not in the what? Solvent. Your interest in the what? Is in the what? Solute. The solute you want to get. So you do what? Sacrifice the what? Solvent. But in distillation, in distillation, the components are needed. You need mainly the solvent itself. Mainly. That, in fact, that's what you even need because that solvent, instead of sacrificing, unlike in what? Evaporation. You collect it through a tube. It will pass through a condenser. Condensation is the, from, is the changing of liquid and gas to what? Liquid. Through of us. So if you heat it, it will evaporate. Evaporation. As what? Gas. You collect it with the pipe. Instead of evaporating in the air and go, you collect it with a pipe. The pipe will now pass through a condenser. It will turn, become a what? A liquid. You collect it as a distillate. Because your interest is in the what? Solvent. But in evaporation, your interest is not in the what? Solvent. Your interest is in the solute. That solute, could, for example, now is what you want to do, what to recover. So if you heat it, the solvent will go. And even in the, in, the, in, the, in the, there are some part of the, there are some part of the, some part, those, uh, some part of the world where they, they process um, salt. This salt, this, this is your table salt you use, sodium chloride. Most of the banks where you have um, 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 sea, they will just pump sea water to the land. They pump it. And allow it to the water to evaporate under the heat of the sun. So when the water evaporates under the heat of the sun, what will remain on the floor is what? Prima. Okay, so when the thing after uh, under the heat of the sun, what will happen is this: the water will be what? Evaporate. What you see on the floor, on the on the bank of the of the of the sea is what salt, sodium chloride. They will now pack it. Then they, they will do other things they want to do with and package and do what. If they want, want to put iodine for goiter to get against what goiter. Hope you know the most of the salt they are they are they they are iodized. Hope you know. Yeah. So they will now package it and do what sell. Now, so this is what evaporation is all about. This is what, what evaporation is what all about. Even in the lab, you can carry out evaporation in the lab. Am I communicating? You, you can get evaporating dish. Who has seen evaporating dish before in your chemistry lab? That's why ceramics more that looks like this. That looks like this. Right? It's white ceramics. They will put the they will, they will put this the solution there, then heat it. The water will do what? But if you are dealing with sugar, uh, be careful. The, the sugar will, uh, if, it, if, if, if the heat is much, it will char. It will be what is called charring of sugar. It will turn to what? Carbon. It will turn to what? All the water content of the sugar will go. We go over the chemistry to understand what, what, what happens in charring. If you eat it, the, all the water, H2O, H2O, H2, 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 in the sugar will disappear. What will, what will remain there is what? Ordinary carbon, which is. Black and color. We call it China. Don't want to get there. Now, so this this what happened in what evaporation. So 
This method is not suitable for soil that are easily destroyed by heat. I think I, think I mentioned it here. It's not suitable for soil that are easily what? Destroyed by what? Heat. That means it's suitable for soil that are stable in heat, with, in what? With heat. So, in, um, if you come up a bit, we call it tamolabai and tamu. Don't, don't, let, let me not confuse you. Just know that it's soil that are what? Stable in what? It heats. So now, example, solar so, so, so is stable. It's very, very what? Stable. Now, I, 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 I think I mentioned that, okay, I don't think I've done so. If a person is using salt making industries, okay? Salt making what? Industries. I've described how these things are done. In some part of the West Africa, what they do is that they pump the sea water and allow the water to do, they pump it out from the sea and allow the water to do, they, they don't even need to eat it. Once, it's, it's, once it, it gets to the, to, to, to the ground, the bank, the heat from the sun will do what? It, and the wa water will do what? Evaporate. What we left on the, on the bank is what? Salt. So the salt is left behind when all the water dries up. So this is what happened in what? Evaporation. So if you have a mixture that is Solute in solvent solution, you can easily do what separate using what? Using what? Evaporation, provided that the solute is stable. For solute that are, are not stable in heat, there are other methods you can use to do what? Separate them, we'll get them. So this is what happened in what? Evaporation. Any question? I don't intend keeping us here more than 6 p.m. So you can go home and uh, those that want to go to say go to us and do other things. I don't want to say, keep us this after six p.m. The time is six oh one. Any question? If you have any question, ask please. Did you understand what we discussed today? From the review to the chemistry class, is it clear? So if I give you a question now, this uh, I, I believe you can you can ask us this question, at least some of them, two of us, those that we have not done, research it on your own and get the answer. Those that came late, look for those that we are here and, co and complete it. Please, once it's 4 p.m., we, we start with this. Please, try everything possible to be coming on time so you don't miss out the assignments. All right, in the absence of any question, in the absence of any question, I... We'll stop here and I'll say, God bless you. Please read, though. Read, though.